We've got to strike here. We've got to make him pay for doing stupid shit. We've got the ball. He moves forward. He kicks. A goal! Corey Ellis. Books. His name is Agnes. What's going on, God Zero Nation? This is our God Zero. We are back with more AFL Evolution 2. Looking to bounce back from that loss we had last week to Sydney. Let's just, uh, let's just leave that behind us. Moving forward, Rory Thompson has come back into the lineup after injuring himself earlier on in the season. Big bolster for our defense. And, as you can see, Jared Harbrow, 250 games. So we're going to need to rise to this occasion. We fell short for Braden Fiorini's 50. It is time for us to get up for somebody who has been at the club since the beginning. Toss is won by Fremantle. They're kicking to the right of screen. That never means anything to anybody, but they're kicking to the right of screen. Okay. They want to fight back, Gold Coast, because I've worked them to the bone all week. Don't you worry about that. Zach Smith wins the ball down. Plenty of work around. We're already inside 50 and we've given away a free kick already. Not what we want early. Fremantle move the ball out. They have found Lloyd Meek. Okay, they're playing a youngster in the ruck. Goes by hand. Moves it to half forward. The ball spills out. It's going to be a ball up. Ball move forward off the deck. Oh, it's a behind. I thought Heron had that. thought Heron was all over that. Fremantle move it in. Taken by Travis Collier. Moves it out to half back. Good contest in there. Ball spills out. Up forward off the deck. Sometimes ugly football is good football. Don't be ashamed to play ugly football sometimes. Peter Wright wins it down. No one in particular. Gold Coast have a clearing kick. A little bit buggy there, but taken on the line by Rory Lobb. He moves the ball out to the back pocket. Travis Collier has it again. Moves it out to defensive 50. Off hands. Plenty of numbers around the ball. Big body check off the ball. No free kick. Freeman will pick up the loose ball and they're going to stroll out of defense here. Ball spills in the forward 50. Shot on goal. Okay, that was incredibly buggy. I don't know what's going on with this match. But the replay, if it doesn't bug out as well, will show the ball moves forward. Lukosius gets free. Goal. Freeman will moving the ball forward. Homsch is there, takes a diving mark. So good in our defense. He kicks it. And David Mundy has taken it. And you know David Mundy, when he has shots on goal, he ain't missing. Fucking bastard. Ball up. One down by Fremantle, straight to the Gold Coast. Moves it to the top of the forward 50. Off hands, plenty of numbers around. Gold Coast have a ping forward, loose man. Oh, Rory Lobb, what the fuck are you doing getting that high? He got no business being up that high, holy shit. Hughes moves it out. Freeman will get tackled with the ball. Plenty of numbers around, Gold Coast, come on. Freeman are going to work it out of defense. They move it inside the center square. Taken by Nat Fife. Moves it out to the wing. It is taken by Luke Ryan. Clock ticking down. They find a loose man. Jesse Hogan has it. He plays on quickly. Pokes it inside. Forward 50. Off hands. There is someone there. Gold Coast is going to clear it out. That should be quarter time. That is quarter time. We're after a very glitchy start to the game. The Gold Coast somehow still managed to be in front by seven points. Start of the second quarter. Hopefully the game's rectified itself. Looks like uh, AFL Evolution 2 might have caught the coronavirus, if you know what I'm saying. Zach Smith has it, gets tackled with the ball. Good tackle again, no prior, ball up. Pressure is mounting, clearing ball by the Gold Coast. Is that going to get... yet? Yeah. Nathan Wilson, diving mark in defense. Moves it slightly out, he's found Sean Darcy. He's going to go even more laterally. Out onto the wing, he has found Luke Ryan. Starting to inject himself in the game in a big way. Moves the ball backwards. We need to make them pay here. Need to make them pay here. Oh, almost swooped on that ball too. I thought we'd pick that off. 
I thought we had picked the pocket, but Freeman will move it by hand. Up to the forward 50. Taken by Michael Walters. He's well within his range too. But he passes the ball off. Off hands. High tackle against Pierce Hanley. Fremantle on shot for goal. And he's nailed it. Nat Fife. The dual Brownlow medalist is on the board, ladies and gentlemen. Fremantle win the tap straight down the throat of one of their midfielders. Move the ball forward off hands by Homsch. I think it was Homsch. Manic ball. Someone lay a tackle, please. The ball's forward and it's a goal. Luke Ryan has just gone bang. We were just talking about how he's injected himself in the game and he's now on the scoreboard as well. Smith wins the ruck contest down. That's going to be a ball up. Gold Coast need to lift here. They need a big time lift. Tackling pressure is no worries. It's just wasted opportunity when we've got the goddamn ball. Good tackle there. Holding the ball. Okay, let's capitalize. Let's move it forward. Good mark taken there by Ben Ainsworth. I don't know whether he's in range, but he's got the wind at his back. Let's have a shot. Come on, Ben. We need this. We need a mark. No, we, 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 we need a mark, not Fremantle. Fremantle now have it. They stroll out of defense by hand. Cut off by the Gold Coast temporarily. Can we get it back forward? Yes, we can. There is nobody home. Lockie Weller, I need you to put the foot down. He's had a ping. He's got done for a high tackle, though. Weller now has the chance to put a score on the board. He's going to miss, isn't he? Yes. Decent effort, not good enough. Freeman might have turned it over here. I don't know how he didn't mark that. That's going to be out in the full. Uncontested, no pressure, drops the ball. I don't understand. Freeman will kick it back in. They have found Travis Collier. Gets it off by hand, finds a loose man. They go backwards with the ball. Come on. Come on, Gold Coast. We've got a strike here. We've got to make him pay for doing stupid shit. We've got the ball. He moves forward. He kicks. A goal! Corey Ellis. Put it in the fucking books. That's what I'm talking about, boys. That is what we need to be doing. Is that the swing we need? Zach Smith wins the ball down. Kicks it forward off the deck. That should have been a free kick again. Ball moved out long. Pay it deliberate. No, it's just out of bounds. Throw in center wing. Zach Smith wins it down. Straight down to Fremantle. Throwing the ball against Nathan Wilson. That's going to be out in the full. Jordan Murdoch. Back to back weeks where you've done that shit, son. Oh! I thought that was going to be a deadly kick. I thought that was just going to go through and maybe deliberate. One could dream, right? Alex Pierce has it for Fremantle. Moves it back out to the wing. The ball's going to beat them to the boundary line. Nope. High tackle against Braden Fiorini. Free kick to Fremantle. Taking their time with the ball. That's half time. Gold Coast up by two points. Miraculously. Second half is underway. And after a big first turn by Fremantle, Gold Coast managed to start the second half in front. Clearing ball forward for the Gold Coast Suns. We need to win this contest. The ball spills. Plenty of numbers around. Oh, we have a loose man out. Chipping ball forward. And he's kicked it straight to Rory Lobb. And he's found a loose man. This is just too easy for Fremantle. Moves the ball laterally. Get a fist in. Ball spills out. Fremantle, however, with extra numbers. Move it forward. Taken by Fiorini. Okay. Oh, we got the loose man out. Get there. Get there. Get there. You got to get there. And now make him pay. 
off hands. Come on, can somebody just get the ball, please? Out of bounds, throw in. I can, I can take that. No Ruckman getting their hands to the ball there. Good tackle, though, to hold the ball up. Zach Smith, Meek. Smith taps it down. Clearing kick. Can we get a mark? Yes, we can get a mark. Jacob Heron. Been a bit of a wild card coming in since Sexton went down with that injury. And Heron gets it home. Yes. Bit of breathing room. That's what we needed. Meek wins the tap down for Fremantle, but the Gold Coast are going to clear the ball. Ball spills out. That's going to be throwing the ball against Sean Darcy. Jordan Murdoch having a shot. Can Murdoch sneak this one home? Yes, he can. Back to back for the Gold Coast Suns. The Suns are on the march. Smith with a big tap down in in favour of the Gold Coast there. He's dominating. When he gets his hand on it, he's just whacking it straight down. Fremantle will move the ball out. Cut off by the Gold Coast inside. Oh, we've got the loose man. It's Fiorini. Fiorini's going to play on. And he's going to go all the way home. Fiorini! Play of the game. Play of the game, yes! Smith again. Straight down to Fremantle that time, though. But good tackle by the Gold Coast. Just taps it into space. Tries to win the ball back himself, but doesn't. Fremantle move the ball forward. Spills in the pack. Fremantle work it out. And it's going to be... Oh, I thought maybe holding the ball then, but not. Tackle pressure has been great. Ball up. Forward 50 for Fremantle. Taps it straight down to Mundy. He gets the ball out. Clearing kick by the Gold Coast. Can we get a mark? Yes, we can. Lukosius has it. He moves it inside 50 to a one-on-one -on -one contest. Off hands. Oh, boys, you've got to work it out. Boys, you've got to work it out better than that, please. Fremantle just showed you how to work it out. They're going to hit him too. Michael Walters. The race is on. Walters versus Harbrow. And Walters has kicked it out on the full. Good corralling there by Harbrow. Ball brought back in. Can we get a mark? No, we can't. Off hands. That should have been holding the ball against the Gold Coast. Maybe. That might be. Very lucky. Two meter Peter in the ruck. He wins the tap down. Clearing kick smothered. Fremantle inside. 50. Holman gets a fist in. Clearing kick again. Just kicking in hope sometimes. The Gold Coast just trying to clear that ball out. Do we get the mark? Peter Wright gets it down to ground. Moved the ball inside. There is no one there. Rory Lobb might cut this off. Oh! Lemons with the impossible angle. That would have been nice if he had kicked it, though. Freeman will bring it in. It's going to get cut off. Jacob Heron. Can he kick his second? He's going to sneak it home. He has the youngster. Two for Heron. Get around him. Good to see the boys getting up and about. This quarter has been huge. Michael Walters has it for Fremantle. Moves the ball forward. The siren's going to beat them. Yes, it will. Gold Coast turning it up. 26 points in front. Final quarter underway. And it's hard to believe the Gold Coast are up by this much considering the start to the game that we had. Fremantle have it. Nathan Wilson uncontested. Moves the ball out. Just forward of center wing. Off hands. Clearing kick backwards by the Gold Coast. Thank God Rory Thompson was there to take it. Goes for the torpedo. Moves it forward of center wing for the Gold Coast. The ball spills out. Fremantle have it. Move it inside. They have found Lloyd Meek. Who gets the handball off. Fremantle share it around. Shot on goal is just shy. Brandon Matera sneaking through a minor score.
Homsch goes long. One by Jordan Murdoch. Good contest. Moves the ball on long again. Zach Smith taking on Alex Pierce. And Alex Pierce wins that one on one. Moves the ball. He has found Sarah. Sarah goes inside. Finds no one. Cut off by Fremantle, however. Back inside. Forward 50 for them. Ball spills. They're going to work it out. They're going to kick a goal. Nat Fife. He's dangerous in that forward 50. Fremantle have it. Gold Coast now have it. Inside 50. The race is on. And the Gold Coast run away from the ball and Fremantle get the clearing kick. Good fist in there. Good spoil. That's what I'm talking about. Ball is thrown in. Tap down. Fremantle have it. They work it out by hand. The chain of handballs, very impressive. But Gold Coast now have it. They kick it back into the middle. Who's going to work it out here? The Gold Coast might. That's going to be a free kick. Off hands. Free kick. Mark taken by Alex Pierce. Doesn't, doesn't muck around. Moves the ball inside. It is off hands again. Gold Coast with the clearing ball. Odd man out. Taken by Brandon Ellis. He moves the ball up to the forward 50 for the Gold Coast. Cut off by Rory Lobb. It's just ping pong back and forth at this stage. Fremantle can't afford to be doing this. They need to strike. Good clearing kick there by the Gold Coast Suns. Inside 50. The ball spills. Shot on goal. It's got a miss. It is out on the full. I thought that was looking promising for a behind. But Fremantle to bring it back in. The ball has spilled. The ball is still in play. No, nah, odd man out. Reese Conker moves it inside the center square looking for a player to hit. It is spilled in the contest. Gold Coast just go off the deck. Trying to move the ball forward at any means necessary. Whoa! Another big fly. Stephen Hill. Riding that wave. Good spoil in there by the Gold Coast, however. Off the deck again. But Fremantle... Just like they have all game. Linking with that handball. Cut off by the Gold Coast Suns. Oh, we need to make him pay here. Jordan Murdoch goes for a dribble kick instead of a torpedo. Are you kidding me? The ball is inside at any rate. Come on, it's two on one. It is two on one. Off the deck. Someone else is off the deck, please. Oh my God, it's a behind. The inaccuracy of the Gold Coast the last couple of weeks I haven't been impressed with. Ball spills. Freeman will have it. Last effort attempt. However, with the time and score against them, Gold Coast have locked up this win, ladies and gentlemen. That siren. Back on the winner's table, baby. Very shaky at the start of the game. Very glitchy too. I don't know what went on with this game. I don't know whether it was my Elgato. I don't know if it was the game itself. There was a lot of skipping though. A lot of skipping. But at any rate, the game settled down after that. And we got it back on our terms. 20 point victors. Dominated the ruck contest though. Nat 5 best on ground. Jacob Heron sneaking in for the vote. Stephen Hill. Okay, Nat Fife wasn't even in their best three possession getters. Jacob Heron kicks two and has seven possessions. Swallow had seven. Murdoch even had six with a goal. He was in better stead to get a... I don't understand. I don't understand. I would have thought player of the match was something they would have fixed in this year's game, but it looks like there's still issues with that too. But at any rate, it's time to go celebrate with the boys downstairs. I still have some choice words to state, say it was an ugly win. But I'm going to go address them, and then once I'm finished addressing them, it'll be time to address you at the post-match press conference. I'll catch you guys then. G'day Trent, up on your left here mate. Yep. Must feel good to bounce back.
after such a heartbreaking loss last week to Sydney at home. It feels absolutely fantastic to bounce back after that loss last week. A lot of things were in the palm of our hands in last week's game and we let them slip. It was good to see the boys bounce back and get it on our terms. It was still a bit of a shaky start to start with, but um, once the boys started getting the gears working, boy, did they look impressive. Uh, Jacob Heron debuted last week and followed up this week as one of your best performers. How do you feel about his start to the year? Jacob Heron has been an absolute wild card. Probably safe to say if Sexton didn't go down with injury, Heron probably wouldn't be getting a game. But I've been thoroughly impressed with what he has done so far. As I said last week, we at the Gold Coast have known what he is capable of. But it's just exciting to see when youngsters are getting the opportunity. They're showing you guys just how good they can be. Nat Fife was kept incredibly quiet throughout the game. What do you attribute that to? I think I attribute that to the work of our midfielders. The tackling pressure of Brandon Ellis, Hugh Greenwood, being able to shut Nat Fife down in the contest was absolutely huge. When he did manage to break those close quarter tags, he managed to kick two goals. So Fife is still a very dangerous player. We were well aware of that going into the game. We knew we had to do something to implement shutting him down, but it helps a hell of a lot when Zach Smith in the ruck has been standing up tall the last few weeks and just getting the ball down to our midfielders and giving them first opportunity. If we get opportunity at the ball first, that in itself is going to stop a midfielder from running rampant on the opposite team. But you've got to credit the boys where the credit's due. They did a very good job on him this week. Now that you've got a little momentum back, how do you feel about taking on Melbourne next week? Football is all about momentum. After losing last week, the boys were deflated all week. We hit the track hard. We come out and we got a very good win against Fremantle this week. And I am all but confident this momentum can keep the ball rolling against Melbourne next weekend. We take them on at home, so I hope you guys are keen to come out and see the Gold Coast put their best foot forward. Anything could happen. We've seen very weird things go down in football. But if you're asking myself personally, and the team I've got behind me, we're very confident that we can take on Melbourne this week and put another win up on the board. That's it for this week, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys at home have been enjoying what I've been throwing down. If you have been, hit that like button down below. It goes a long way to supporting the channel. I can't thank you guys enough for all that support. And if you happen to be new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below as well. Pledge your allegiance to the God Zero Nation by doing so. Plenty more AFL Evolution 2 action to be coming to the channel. So hit that notification bell and get notified every single time something brand new does come down. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.